think I stay all week long. This is my favorite week of the whole year at, at work. Um, and uh, today is, is low bird day. We've been doing it a few years now, so it's, it's, and it's fun. It's different every year, but it's still fun to get you a chance to go. Hopefully, those of us that got to work in the shop floor um, saw something new um, and it got a chance to meet some new folks and work hand in hand with them. So I appreciate that. Um, that. What I'd like to do is uh, just explain a little bit about how we go about the selection of, of the, the awardee. Um, there's, we receive nominations from everybody that works in the company. Anybody that works here is welcome to nominate folks. Uh, we, um, the marketing group collects all that information. They put it together in a packet, and then we have a cross-functional um, selection committee that, that looks at those individuals and then narrows it down to a, a group of finalists that we're going to recognize today. And it's a tough selection process for the committee to narrow it down. They, they did a great job this year, and I think you'll agree with me when you with, when we talk about the finalists. The first finalist is Boyce Bonham. So Boyce, if you would come up. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. One, two, three. Okay, thank you. And you get popcorn. Oh, right. there you go. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. you. The next question on the list is Jeff Hall. Jeff. I need a little stool when we have pictures like this. <laughs> there you go. All right. And pop for one. Thank Thanks, you, sir. sir. Appreciate it. Next on the list is uh, Randy Maynard. Person on the list, Pat Roby. Well represented in this yes, Thank you. One, two, three. There you go, sir. Thank you. And the last person on the list of uh, finalists is Teresa Vincent. nominated by several individuals and I can tell you that um, it was a um, uh, well-earned award. Um, this person goes out of the way on a regular basis um, and um, is the epitome of the legacy that Mr. Lobert put in place about caring and being empathetic to uh, being committed, uh, being compassionate. Um, you think through all the different um, uh, core values that we have and this person absolutely represents each one of those. Um, I could go on and on about some of the things that were written, but um, let me just call Teresa back up on the stage. Yeah. Yeah. I'm shocked. Yeah. You people really kept a good sleeper. Yeah, no. I'm like, there's no way she doesn't know. She knows everything. was a great man and he really took pride in the employees that we had here and the employees would do anything for Mr. Lobart, myself included. But thank you all again. <laughs> 